Hey everybody, this is Betsy Veldman for Paper Tray Ink, and in this video I'm going to show you how to assemble the new Tiny Town Gingerbread. Alright, so the Tiny Town Gingerbread dies are an accessory set for the Tiny Town Basics. You will need, this is the Basics die that you will need for the main part of the building. And the other die that you're going to need from the Basics set is uh, the small window cutouts that go on the side of the building. And in order to cut the, you need to cut two pieces of the main building portion from the basics die and that will um, create one gingerbread house um, and you do it just like um, I've, show, I've shown you videos on the church and um, all the other tiny town pieces it works very much the same there is a new um, door and window die for the front of the building and you can just go ahead and drop that in side the open um, opening of the main die. You can run them through at the same time. I always just line my um, window and door die, uh, die up, just kind of butt that up uh, right close to this edge here. Kind of line that up along the bottom. And you can also drop the side window cut out right um, in that opening as well. And you can just run them through your machine in just one pass. Um, so do one that way. And here I have cut already you can see I have the window and door cutouts there are some new shutters in the gingerbread house that have some little heart cutouts the front windows on the gingerbread house um, used uh, just these window frames without the shutters there wasn't quite room to incorporate the shutters with the uh, double door here so those front windows have just um, plain window frames and those are in the gingerbread um, die set as well and on the second part of the building I just did the window cutouts on the side nothing on the back you can add of course window cutouts to the back as well if you'd want I chose to leave mine solid okay so let's go ahead and assemble I have already like you can see there's this little arch um, detail that can go up in the top there is a scalloped piece that can embellish uh, the side here there are actually two scalloped strips in the die set the longer one is the one that um, fits just perfectly on the side of the building the shorter one this little shorter it's a little bit shorter than the other one as you can see here that shorter piece can be wrapped around the top of the chimney. That fits perfectly there. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start assembling. I just have some score tape put on the side tabs of the main part of my building. Just make sure you get those bottom score lines lined up. And that closes up the main portion of the house. And you can close up the bottom. And then these top, top flaps, it just kind of depends on what you're going to use it for. If you want to uh, fold these up and tie them closed so that you can open up the treat box again, or if you're making just a, a more of a village piece you can go ahead and tuck those inside like that and I'm gonna add a roof to it in a little bit here too so that will hold those flaps inside of there okay so there is a little uh, candy cane porch edition for the gingerbread house which I have cut from white cardstock here and I have already uh, folded on all the score lines and there are some solid candy canes that you can put underneath to give them a uh, two color detail. So we'll go ahead and use a little bit of adhesive, liquid adhesive, and add those. And then there is a small roof for the top of that little uh, porch detail. This roof has tabs. Those will get attached to the main part of the building, so you make sure that those are in the back. 
and then just go ahead and attach it to these tabs on the candy cane part. So I'll put a little bit of adhesive there and you can just go ahead and line that up right even with the front of that peak so that the edges of the roof kind of go right behind the candy canes. Okay, and this portion here gets folded up so you have this sort of thing. Add some adhesive to those flaps and also just a little bit of line of adhesive right along the edge of this bottom flap. We can go ahead and add that to the front of our building I like to turn it upside down so I can make sure I get it nice and straight. There is actually a little score line on this uh, base part of the candy cane portion, which you can see right here. That is kind of uh, your guide. So you can go ahead and look for that score line and that should get lined up with the, ed the front edge of your building. and that should give you um, a good placement for that. Okay. And then we can go ahead and add the roof. And if you want, this is, uh, this roof is actually from, um, this is a separate die, it's sold separately. It's the Scallop Shingles roof. And it coordinates with all of the Tiny Town uh, buildings, of course. I'm going to go ahead and add that to the top. And then there's a little chimney, which I have already, this is the chimney die right here. I've, I've already folded it up and uh, attached that side tab. So I can just put a little liquid adhesive on those bottom flaps and go ahead and attach it to the roof might be easier to do this part uh, before you attach the roof to the house itself. It gives you a little more um, leverage for pushing that adhesive on there if you do it before you attach it to the house. But this works too. Okay, and then you can just go ahead and embellish your house however you want to. There are some little uh, candy or peppermint flourishes that can be added above the windows or uh, in this peak here. These are made up of three separate little pieces. There's the base and then the solid part that would get added over the top and then a little candy or peppermint detail. So those would all get layered like that to create a cute little embellishment. And of course you can use the little peppermint discs on their own without the base too. They would be really kind of cute attached to the roof all in a row or however else you'd want to embellish your house. Okay so that wraps up this quick little tutorial for assembling the Tiny Town Gingerbread House. I hope you have fun with it and thanks for joining me. This has been Betsy Veldman for Paper Tray Inc.